So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a question now. Uh, and ask one of you how this particular wildcard query can be answered using a B tree. So let's take a name like, uh, okay, let's, let's take the name of a cricketer. Uh, let's say Jay Surya, okay, Sanath Jay Surya. And you don't, let's say you don't know what his, uh, what does, how his name is spelled in English. So you probably know that it is J-A-Y-A-S-U-R, but then you don't know whether it's I-A or Y-A or, uh, that, that part is a little fuzzy. So let's take a query like this. So this is a wildcard query where the wildcard operator appears in the middle. And we want all documents containing wor a word of the form J-A-Y-A-S-U-R followed by one or more characters followed by an A. Of course, we are assuming that this is these are all uh, non-space characters. So we're not talking about word boundaries over here. Uh, we are inside a particular word over here. So uh, is there a student by the name of Deepali over there in the classroom? Would you like to uh, try this out? Uh, First, uh, we'll take the, uh, we'll create a posting list of all those terms which is satisfying this expression. This expression means which have J A Y A S U R and then mm -hmm. something in between which can be anything and then mm -hmm. A after that. Okay. So, so uh, we'll take consider all those terms. Then uh, mm -hmm. we'll take the second step will be to take the union of all those terms and take the all odd, odd yeah. of all these terms. Yeah, which I right. think. Yeah, so awesome. let's go, you're right about uh, the overall uh, two steps. The second step is kind of, uh, uh, that doesn't need any elaboration. But could you elaborate on the first step a little? How would you retrieve all the terms that satisfy this regular, I mean, I don't know if you've done regular expressions or not, but that, that satisfy this particular pattern, let's say. How do you... Uh, Retrieval, actually. Oh. Uh, like uh, the terms which are coming before this wildcard operator, that is a star, mm. for these terms we'll be using uh, normal B trees to okay. get to, like, uh, so, no, normal, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Normal B trees and like for A, we will be using reverse B trees, which I think for the retrieval should be used. Okay. So I think. Okay, and then, so... One of the B trees will give you all the terms that start with this prefix and the reverse B tree will give you all the terms that start with uh, this particular yeah. suffix. So what would yeah. you, how would you combine them? Uh, taking union or I should take intersection. Intersection? Yeah. You need to take and the intersection. Intersection because, then yeah. both will be satisfied. Yeah, so the first B tree will give you all the terms which start with this prefix. The second B tree will give you all the terms which start with this suffix. And we want all terms that have this prefix and this suffix. And so we will need to take the intersection of both those lists. By the way, uh, I don't know if you know about the structure of a B tree in, uh, um, in, in more detail, but it's possible. So there are certain kinds of B trees where the last level is connected to, so at the last level of the tree, which is where the actual terms are located, there is also, there are also these cross links, okay, from one term to the next. So normally you just think of the connections as being between parents and children, but you can choose a particular variant of a B tree where all the leaves are horizontally connected as well to one another, like a, via a doubly linked list. Okay, you have pointers going in both directions. So if you start from a particular term and you keep on going to the right, you will be visiting the terms in increasing lexicographic order. Likewise, if you start from a particular node and you keep moving to the left, you will be visiting the terms in decreasing lexicographic order. So if you start from 
the leftmost node which satisfies this particular uh, prefix. You can get all the terms which satisfy that prefix by just going on visiting the node to the right successively. And you'll stop as soon as you encounter a term which moves beyond this particular prefix, okay, where instead of R you get an S here or something like that. And the same applies for the reverse B tree. So the point to note is that the terms that you will get from both the B trees will already be sorted. Okay, They will already be in a sorted order because that will be the order in which you will extract them from the B tree. So the intersection procedure, right, taking the intersection of those lists of terms will be exactly like the merge step that we've discussed for the in inverted index because both those strings are already sorted. And uh, uh, of course, one of them is sorted with respect to the suffix, not with respect to the prefix. So you may have to sort that one uh, in accor according to the prefix and then do the, in the, the intersection. So just wanted to mention that small point. Okay, so that's actually the right answer. Uh, so does anybody have any doubts about this? So good, so Deepali gave the right answer here. Let me slightly modify the query now. Uh, okay, let's say we're gonna take the first name as well as the last name. Okay, it's Sanath Jay Surya, and again, let's say we don't know what this Sanath is, whether it's a, maybe we can add a T here, but it doesn't matter. And we'll take this wildcard query. So we want all documents containing this expression, sorry, terms which satisfy this pattern and a term which satisfies this pattern. So this is an AND query now. Uh, every document satisfying this query must have a word with the prefix S-A-N-A -A, and it must have a word with the prefix J-A-Y-A-S-U-R. This is not a phrase query, so they don't well, ideally, they should be next to one another, but, you know, let's not complicate things too much because, you know, if you go to phrase queries, then you'll have to think about a positional index. Whereas right now, I'm just trying to ask you about uh, uh, the wildcard query part of uh, uh, the chapter. So let's not further complicate the question. So is does anybody want to uh, try this out? Somebody who doesn't usually answer. This, by the way, is pretty similar to this kind of a query, but uh, you know it's okay. Even if you you can either answer this one or you could answer this one. So I remember there was a student uh, with the surname D'Souza. Uh, is the uh, sorry, I'm forgetting uh, your first name. Uh, anybody there with the surname? Yeah, Adam D'Souza. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so... Well, do you want to try to answer this question? Doesn't matter if you're not able to answer. I mean, let's... Uh, why don't you just try? However you think we should go about doing this. Okay, uh, for, uh, for the... Um uh, Sanat name, we can just uh, do the normal B tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Then we can do the uh, uh, star Jaisur uh, using a uh, reverse B tree. Maybe. Uh, these two patterns are pretty similar. So if this could be done using a normal B tree, do you think this could also be done using a normal B tree? Yeah, uh, yeah, using uh, this uh, uh, Sanat uh, should be done using normal B tree and Jaisur star can be done by using normal B tree and mm -hmm. uh, using a uh, reverse B tree we can uh, maybe uh, join them. Uh, and using so the and, we, and query. Yeah, so note the difference from the previous uh, query. Here this was a wildcard in the middle and uh, we had to take this normal B tree here and a reverse B tree here because we wanted all words ending with a. Here we both these patterns specify words starting with a particular prefix. So you will use a normal B tree in both cases. But the way to combine them is 
going to be slightly different. Here it was, here you had to take the intersection of um, the two lists of terms because you wanted a term that has this prefix and this suffix. Now you've got a list of terms that begin with S-A-N-A and you've got a list of terms beginning with J-A-Y-A-S-U-R. So how would you retrieve all the documents which have one of the any term from the first list and any term from the second list? That's the question. So let me uh, s split it down uh, into um, uh, you know a smaller question. How would you retrieve all the docs? Suppose the query had been just S A N A star. How would you so, uh, answer that particular query? Uh, using a normal B tree. Okay, using a normal B tree, uh, you would get. What would you get at the end? What would the B tree give you at the end? It would give uh, all the terms. Uh, yeah, it would give you all the all the terms having the prefix S A N A. So how would you get documents from those terms? So by the way, they would give you all the terms and they would give you the postings list for uh, the pointer to the postings list on, on, on the disk for all those terms, right? Because the postings list, the pointer to the postings list is stored along with the term in the dictionary. So how would you answer this query in the sense that how would you uh, get all documents containing a term from that list? So let me write this down. So let's say that the B tree here gives you, you know, a bunch of terms. Uh, maybe it will give you, you know, a document on the capital of Yen, uh, Yemen. Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's spelled kind of like this. Uh, and a bunch of other terms. So. This is what you would get. You would get a list of terms. So how would you get all documents that contain any of those terms? Okay, so you know what the pointer to the postings list is for each of these terms. So tell me what's going on in your mind. I mean, how are you trying to, or, or what exactly is uh, blocking you? What exactly are you trying to think about which is, uh, and pausing. Tell me your thought process. Uh, no, I was just thinking like uh, uh, if it's just, if the all the words sanat the, the word which I have just written in the posting list the word mm -hmm. sanat the san uh, s a n a all should re uh, be written right. Uh, if you are doing a normal B three one. Yeah. So you, so you you're uh, you're saying that um, you're saying that you. We should take the union of all the postings list for these. Is that what you're asking? Or, or is that what you're saying? Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you want all documents containing any of these terms. So you will go take the postings list for this. You'll take the postings list for this. You'll take the postings list for this and so on. And you'll take their union. So that will give you all the documents which satisfy this particular pattern. So how would you get all documents satisfying this particular pattern in the same way? Now, how would you get all documents satisfying this pattern? You have two lists of documents now. You get one, one list of documents for this particular query. You get one list of documents for this particular query. Uh, can we take the intersection of these? Yeah, so now you'll take the intersection exactly like we discussed in chapter 1 and you'll get all documents uh, satisfying both these queries. So note that these two queries were slightly different in that here you were, we were taking the intersection at the term level. We were taking the terms that were returned, the list of terms that were returned in both cases and then taking their intersection. And after taking the intersection, we were then going to the postings list, retrieving all the documents and then taking their union. Here we are, the order is the, act, the, the reverse actually. 
you are getting first a list of documents satisfying this query you are getting a list of documents satisfying this query and then you are taking the intersection of those document lists right so the intersection is happening at the at the level of the document lists so now you'll be looking at doc ids instead of lexicographic ordering of terms during the intersection so the terms were not take, uh, were not what were in intersected the terms were were used to generate these lists of documents two lists of documents which were then uh, intersected to give the final list of documents so good so this uh, cold calling is working so both, both of you were able to uh, answer the question reasonably so any questions about these two does this uh, make uh, what we discussed in the la does this refresh your memory of what we did in the last class yeah, yeah? okay so uh, we are going to start from here now no questions hello sir yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is roy uh, so in this sanat and jay surya uh, it's given sanat and jay surya and so yeah. uh, the both the terms are uh, intersect uh, intersection right uh, intersected so if and is replaced by or sanat mm -hmm. or jay surya so mm -hmm. uh, it will become union is that yeah okay. union of the two document lists okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Just, i just wanted to ask that so uh, yeah. if it's or it becomes union and and is intersection yeah okay yeah. that's it. thank you sure, sure.